The sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer, my fields are apt to wither from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. Aye, and it ain't just the crops water worse for wear. I'd cry over her a lot, but naught but dust would pour from my eyes. How pitiless, the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy, then I shall. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold, as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. Huh? What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bowl. You must tell me if you do. We're in sore need of a miracle. A pleasure is always to see you, my lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. I am called Izana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. Slap my ass like I was just born. Rain! Honest to goodness, rain! How did... I, I've never witnessed a miracle. Izana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my deepest gratitude. There is no need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. If it is not too bold of me to ask, do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. We would welcome you with open arms, and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later. Thank you. 